According to Liu Xuanzuan in Global Times, China's recently announced export controls on gallium could hit the U.S. defense industry, as this material, with China being the leading producer and supplier in the world, is widely used in advanced radar systems installed on warplanes, warships and ground installations, experts said on July 4. According to a notice released on July 3 by China's Ministry of Commerce and General Administration of Customs, starting from August 1, China will implement export controls on gallium, germanium, and various chemical compounds related to these materials. The notice specifies that items possessing certain characteristics will require approval before they can be exported. The objective of this measure, as stated in the notice, is to protect national security and interests. Gallium and germanium are crucial components used in the production of semiconductors and other electronic devices. Experts in the Chinese military have expressed their views on the potential impact of these export controls, particularly on the U.S. defense industry, given the current efforts by the U.S. to limit China's military advancements. Fu Qianxiao, a Chinese military aviation specialist, highlighted the significance of gallium arsenide GAAS and gallium nitride GAN, in the production of transmit-receive modules used in Active Electronic Scanning Array AESA, radars. These radars are extensively employed in modern warplanes, warships, and ground installations. Prominent U.S. defense companies like Raytheon and Northrop Grumman are reportedly developing new AESA radar systems based on GAN, which offer superior performance compared to the previously utilized GAAS. GAN is also integrated into the latest radars used in the F divided by a minus 18E divided by F carrier based fighter jet and the F 35 stealth fighter jet. Both GAN and GAAS are included in China's list of controlled exports. Given that China possesses approximately 85% of global gallium reserves, it is highly unlikely for the US and other Western nations to circumvent the use of Chinese materials without incurring significant costs, as emphasized by Fu.